Now, my first job was probably one of the best jobs I've ever had, and that was to work on a wine estate, a Chateau de Vin in the southwest of France, between school and university at the age of 18. It was the time of the Falklands War, and I still remember listening every day to the rather languid bulletins uh, from London on the BBC World Service. And I thought at first that this might be due to the fact that I was drinking quite a lot of wine at a very tender age. But in fact, that was indeed the voice of the rather strange MOD spokesman at the time. Uh, in any case, the job was to show visitors, mainly German nudists on rainy days with nothing better to do, around the wine cellars, the vineyards, and explain a bit about the production of wine, and then cap that experience um, with a couple of glasses. And we were told that in order to actually do this job well after the first tour, because we had about four or five tours every day, we would have to spit the wine out. Otherwise, we'd be legless by lunchtime. And that was always rather difficult to achieve. Um, the payment for that job was, I think, about 20 pounds a week, not exactly a handsome sum, but we were also paid in liters of wine, a liter of wine a day, as if you wanted to drink more wine at the end of the day when you spent most of the day doing precisely that. I lived with a friend, Rupert, who was doing the same job, uh, another English would-be student in a tiny little cottage, a very basic place, uh, with all the other vintners at the bottom of the hill. Uh, you could see the chateau rather splendidly on the top of the hill, uh, at some distance, but where we, we lived, uh, things were rather more basic. What did I learn from this job? I learned one thing above all, that if you start drinking early on in the day and you have to continue doing that for the rest of the day, even if you are spitting out that wine, there's always something that lingers. You've got to drink either two tablespoons of olive oil or olive oil mixed with tomato juice right after breakfast. That lines the stomach and makes it much easier for you to carry on functioning sort of logically, coherently, until you can really enjoy a proper glass of wine and not worry about your coherence after sundown.